This video is sponsored by PCBWay, more of them later. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. For today's video we got this late 2011 15 inch MacBook Pro. I bought it pretty cheap to a person that got it stored and forgotten to make a quick refurbish and a quick flip. And I was thinking that might be cool show you how I normally refurbish my used laptops to make them ready to be sold again. This one have a pretty good specs for a 2011 model. It has a quad core Core i7, 60GB of RAM, dual graphics and 750GB of the hard drive. The screen is a 15 inch LED model. So apart from the looks, as you can see that's not for sure the best one with marks and grains all over it, the seller tell me that the laptop works ok but after a reset attempt the laptop never boot up again. He thinks that may be a problem with the hard drive, but I think that will be a software only problem. Either way, we're gonna replace and update the hard drive, so that's no problem at all. As always, have a seat, relax and join me in another project. Stick around. First, of course, we're gonna disassemble a couple of parts to clean and have a better look. So let's start from there. Judging by the exterior, I was thinking that the interior will be also really dirt, but surprisingly, it is not that dirty at all. I will also remove the motherboard because I want to replace the thermal paste and clean the cooling vents, but they are all on the other side of the board. And this is how far I will go. I think there's no need to disassemble anything else, so let's start cleaning this MacBook Pro. Before we continue, a word from our sponsor PCBWay. PCBWay is a world leader on PCB manufacturing. You can get PCBs starting at just $5. Completely automated, you can submit the design, get a quote and make your order in matter of minutes on PCBWay.com. They also have CNC and 3D print services, so you can free your imagination and finish all of your projects. With PCBWay, you design it, they build it. Visit PCBWay.com to see more. <laughs> Thank you. 
for cleaning the LCD, I normally use a mixture of glass cleaner and isopropyl alcohol and then wipe it with a microfiber towel. And with all the cleaning done, we can reinstall all the parts again. As I mentioned earlier, the cheapest and best upgrade we always should do is replace the mechanical hard drive for an SSD. The performance will be insanely better. The new rubber fits that I ordered on AliExpress still in transit, so for now I bought a couple of furniture protectors and I think these grey ones will do the job just right. For the software and so we can still have the latest updates, browsers and other softwares, I will install the macOS Big Sur. For that, as this is an unsupported Mac, I will use the Open Core Patcher. I'm not gonna show you or explain the entire process because there's hundreds of YouTube videos of that. For example, you can have a look on Mr. Macintosh channel that have a complete guide for the full installation process. I leave you the link in the description below. And after that, we are done. What did happen to the last ten? I ran away with my life fast forward and never turned back again. It's kind of funny that the more we pass time, the more we need to set the rewind. And 19 was the year I had to leave you, but now I'm seeing all the signs. Hey, 
This is how I normally take a user laptop, give it some love, some updates and sell them for a quick profit. It is a cool process. I love do that, especially on beat it up or dirty ones. It is a really satisfying process. If you live in Portugal and want to buy it, just email me. This is all for today. I hope you enjoy another video. Please consider subscribe, leave a like, comment, and also share this video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.